friends welcome you to another edition of our video series and this has to do with uh, practical past questions on the jam examination that will be taking you down to the date of your exams it's not only for jam any other student that love mathematics can watch the solution of this because mathematics is universal is general and it's logical now this question today we're going to look at a question that has to do with uh, the shapes uh, and angles the shapes of uh, of, uh, of uh, substance now we are going to look at this the question says a bucket is 12 centimeter in diameter at the top 8 centimeter in diameter at the bottom and 4 centimeter deep you are asked to calculate its volume now this has to do with the volume of uh, our pockets now if you are given this question the only thing i would advise you to do is if you can draw it then you can solve it so we'll go about drawing it first so that we can now come to look at how the solution goes now we are asked we are told that we have a bucket now this is the drawing of a what of a bucket and uh, we are told that this bucket has a what has a diameter of 12. now remember our diameter our rad radius is what we need is equal to diameter divided by what by two so if the bucket has a diameter of six at the top that means our ratio will be 12 divided by two which is equal to six what centimeters so this will be what this will be six what centimeter that is at the top now at the bottom they say the diameter is what eight so that will give us what eight divided by two which is equal to what four what centimeter so at that bottom the diameter is what four what centimeter that is that now the, we are now told that the de depth of the bucket is four what centimeter that means from this point to this point of the bucket is what is forward centimeter now that is what we are given and we are asked to find the volume of this bucket now this is going to be a cone because we are going to extend this to make it a what cone for us to solve this question appropriately now with this extension we've now come to see that we have a full uh, cone and then a smaller what a smaller cone now we'll take the height of this smaller cone to be what x what centimeter and the diameter and the radius of this smaller cone is what four centimeter that is our drawing so we have a very big tax here the first tax is for us to find the value of this x now remember that here you have uh, you have a, a bigger cone and then the smaller what the smaller cone. Now for us to solve this, we need to use a principle we call similar shape, the ratios of similar shape. Now we have the ratio of similar shape. We have the larger cone that is uh, that is the length we have the height of the larger uh, cone which is large and the height of the what the smaller cone equal to the radius of the what the larger cone over the radius of the what the smaller cone now the height of the larger cone is this full height and that will give us our what 4 plus what plus x all in centimeter and the height of the smaller cone is what x this will be equal to the radius of the larger cone is 6 over the radius of the smaller cone is what 4 when we cross multiply we are going to have uh, 4 into bracket 4 plus what x equal to what 6 what x and this will give us 16 plus what plus 4x equal to what 6 what x now let this come over here this will give us um, this will go over here this will give us 16 equal to 6x minus what 
4x and we'll come to find out that our x now will be equal to this 16 16 will be equal to this minus this that will give you what your 2x so our x now will now be equal to 16 divided by 2 which is equal to what 8 so we've come to see now that our x is equal to what our x is equal to 8 what centimeter so having gotten the value of our x using this similar uh, shape uh, ratio of similar shape all we need to do now is to find the volume of each of this cone remember we have the larger cone and the what and the smaller cone now we are going to look at the volume of the larger cone first and then we'll consider the volume of uh, the smaller cone now the volume of a cone is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by pi r square multiplied by the what by the height now taking from the larger cone the larger, larger cone has a, a, a height of what 8 plus 4 that's the height of the larger cone which is uh, 8 plus 4 will give us uh, the, this this uh, that value that's 4 plus what x so 4 plus what 8 will give us what that will give us 12 so that means the height is what 12 what centimeter and the radius is equal to what 6 centimeter so the volume of the larger cone will now be 1 over 3 multiplied by pi times what 6 square multiplied by what by 12 so now if we simplify this further we're going to have 1 over 3 multiplied by pi times what 6 square will give us 36 times what times 12 now 3 here 1 3 here will give us 1 and the what and the 2 so the volume of the larger this will now be what pi times what 12 times what 12 and that will give us what 144 what pi now we'll take that and put it aside volume of large what of the larger cone now let's take that and put that aside now we're going to consider the volume of the smaller cone now remember the volume of the smaller cone is what vs which is equal to 1 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius of the smaller cone is going to give us 4 square times the height is going to give us 8 so this will give us 1 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by what 16 times what 8 now if we divide this further we're going to have uh, we're going to have uh, pi times what 16 times 8 all over what 3 now 16 times 8 will give us what we we'll have our uh, 16 times 8 now 8 times 6 we have our 8 times 2 we have our 8 times 2 we have our 8 we have our 8 times 2 give us what 8 times 8 times 3 let's look at our 8 times 3 i want to do this so that you can understand what we are doing 8 times 3 will give us what 20 what 4 and 8 times 3 will give us what 24 so this plus this will give us our what our 48 that means 8 times 6 will give you what 48 so you write your 8 and carry for 8 times 1 is 8 8 plus 4 will give you what 120 what 128 so we have our 128 that will be equal to pi times what 128 over what 3 so the volume of the smaller cone will now be equal to 128 pi over what over 3 now we're going to look at the solution of the, of the final volume now remember now this uh, this part of the cone is just an extension of the main cone what we are looking for is what the volume of the bucket now if the larger cone gives us 148 pi and the smaller cone give us 128 pi over 3 how can we get the volume relax chill out 
and I'll be with you in the next Jiffy to show you the final solution. Welcome back. Now we say we want to look for the volume of uh, the bucket. Now the volume of the bucket, the volume of the bucket will now be equal to what? The volume of the bucket will now be equal to will now be equal to the volume of the large uh, cone minus the volume of the smaller what cone. Now that will be equal to one four four pi, right? Minus what? Minus one two eight pi over what? Over three. Now this will divide this. We look for our LCM. This will be three. Now this times this will give us what? 3 times 4 will give us 12, we write 2, carry 1, 3 times 2, 12, that will give you 13, 3 times this will give you, 3 times uh, 1 will give you 3 plus 1, that will give you uh, 4, 4 pi minus, this will give you 128 what, pi, now subtract this, when you subtract these two values, 143 minus 128, that will give you, that will give you that will give you three let's say 432 minus 128 that will give you four this will give you zero and this will give you three so that will give you 304 pi over what over three now if you check this result you are going to see it in your option now you see how to go about this solution it's very lengthy these are some of those questions you'll be given now if you can be able to solve easy question in just two seconds you can be able to give the more order allotted time to longer questions like this and you solve them accurately without any problem now if you enjoy this solution go check for other questions like this and see how you can solve them if you have any question dm us or send us a, a message or say, drop a chat on the the, 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 the the bottom of the comment section of this video and we'll get a solution to your answer you see solving questions like this that has to do with volumes and areas are very easy if you know the formulas very well we're going to give you a full-blown video on the volumes of shape and areas of shape and how to calculate them if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do that so that once this video comes out you'll be the first to know i look forward to seeing you in our next video thanks for watching